changed. Now, somebody mailed me, emailed me the phone number to the lady who beat up the black woman in this video. I'm going to call. I'm going to try to put it on speakerphone and get an interview. Call. Call cannot go through his dial. Let me check the phone over again. Oh, shucks. Let me see. Okay. My account. Oh, shucks. Let me hurry up. Hurry. Inbox. Uh, comments. Holy crap. Wow. I can't believe this shit. I can't find it. Black people beware. There you go. Eight one. Oh, I'm not going to say the lady's phone number. Texas is 703, right? 703. Four, six, seven. Call. Got the message. Hmm. I would excuse me, I was just calling to see if I can get an interview and so we can clarify a few things on my network. Um, due to the events that, that just have passed, all I wanted to do was see if I can get an interview to get your side of the story. Thank you for your time, and please, have a nice day. Even though she whooped the shit out of her sister with a 2 by 4 for no apparent reason at all, I tried to get a story. Let me try to call the number again. Texas is definitely... Oh, my ex is leaving. Texas is 713. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh, wow, I'm three minutes into the video already. 713. 460. the representative from the real AIX.com I'd like to give an interview to the lady of the house for a TV show that will be prevented on the shown on the internet oh I'm sorry sir I didn't mean to call you at work um, is there a better time where I can call and get the interview Or whatever or what? No, it's not a sales promotion. There were some events that uh, transpired just recently in your community and, and just pretty much want to interview people in the community to get their essence of what's really going on. Okay. So other than that, thank you, sir, for your time. I am calling uh -huh. from California, and I don't want to bother you at work. And right now, in today's okay. economic, economic situation, everybody needs to keep your jobs. Uh, isn't that the truth? Yeah, I appreciate but, it. Thank you, man. You have a nice day. I think that was her husband or one of the people that was involved or what have you. Um, 
I don't know who the hell that man was. Um, someone mailed me. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Someone mailed me this lady's phone number and address. And me being the person I am for the real AIX, I was trying to get an interview because I'm not going to hate on anybody for any reason or situation. But if this woman could have explained herself, let me see if I got the number right. They're in Arlington, Texas. Arlington, Texas. Okay, I got the um, area code and everything. And the phone number. Um, and I think that was the husband. Uh, we don't know what happened. We know somebody's civil rights was violated. And um, truly. And I know there's some people out there who want to try to say I'm faking this. But somebody mailed me this people's phone number. And, you know, by the time that one person has mailed this phone number, you know they've mailed it to probably 115 million other people. So out of who all, all, out of all the people that this number has been mailed to, regardless of what the outcome of the situation may be, I tried to get both sides of the story. As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason for you to attack or jump on anybody, especially over animosity or hate or anything else. Excuse me for spitting on camera. I tried to give that man his respect and his family their respect, like everybody should do when only asking a question. Anybody of color could be negative and say something, Hey, you motherfucking white people, do baby. But I'm not that kind of brother or uh, person. I'm not going to yell and complain about someone disliking black people without knowing why. So, in saying that, all you black people out there who watch my show do not think in one way, shape, or form that I am some white sympathizer. And white people who watch my show do not think one way, shape, or form that I'm some black sympathizer who's buying on your guilt trip. The white people who watch my show don't have a guilt trip. Why should they be guilty of anything? They haven't done anything wrong to anybody black. And if they did, their conscience will kick in. Therefore, they'll get trip or kick in. They ain't got nothing to do with me. That's them. So, we've done a lot of music. <laughs> we've done a lot of music today and a lot of videos today. And the moral of the story of today is this: nothing is free. Alcohol kills people, so don't drink it even if you have a cold. Because I went and got some brandy and some brandy and some peppermint. Microwaved it, made me a little not hot, nice hot tate. Tate, hot tate, tate, tate. Made me a nice hot one. And I sipped on the brandy, and I got a buzz. I'll be honest with you. I don't advocate buying at any brands of alcohol. I don't advertise for any brands of alcohol. Don't drink this brand of alcohol because I'm not advertising for this brand of alcohol. If they pay me, then drink it. But then if they don't pay me, don't drink it because they're not paying me, so don't drink it. Nobody should drink. I started drinking today at 11.30 this morning. You know what they're saying um, in the real world. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Somewhere it's time to drink. That's no excuse for drinking. But my excuse for drinking is I feel as if I got a cold or a slight taste of the flu. My niece has the flu. I do not want to get caught up with the flu while waiting for someone to send me back to work. Um, I spoke to my boss and I made some headway. People have been saying the latest few videos, you know, that I've had, I've had a certain hat on. And because the video started, I I have the hat on. I can no longer represent a company that has left me out to dry. And they didn't leave me out to dry. I put myself in the position to get left out to dry. But until then, till you can hear the true story of what happened at the last job I had, you've been tubed. Hopefully the music I provide to you today was a spark in your day to make you feel better. And it's all free. Remember. You've been too.